Okay, so we continue. Now we want to add drag and drop uh, capabilities here. So we can easily change our profile image from here, but uh, why not add drag and drop as well? Okay, so to do that, we have to add a few uh, triggers to this thing here. So first of all, uh, if I simply click and drag an image over here, uh, the whole page will shift to that image. So we can easily see that if I go to my folder here with uh, all this stuff, I can easily drag and try to drop an image here and boom, that isn't desirable at all. Okay, so how do we avoid that? Now, this is where we put uh, an event listener to this part to listen for somebody dropping something, okay? So in order to do that, we go to the settings.php, the one that is inside includes folder right here. So we'll go to the settings.php. Mm -hmm. We'll open that one up. So this is the one right here. Now there's something we need to also change here because if I go down here, I have this, this error here and instead I just put it on die here. So what I'm supposed to do is change this so that, let me move this uh, bracket down here. So let me remove the die. So when everything goes well, it's going to end up here and we're going to be good to go. But we can put an else statement here. If things don't go well, we get an error. No contacts were found, just in case there are no contacts in the, in the database for some reason. Okay, so now that we have that out of the way, let's go to uh, the profile image itself. And where is that? Uh, the image, here it is. So I want the image to be re receptive to other images, right? So what I need to do is add a style here. So um, I'm going to call this style, let me put a dot here. I'm going to call this style dot, um, how do I call it? Dot drag over. Oh, let me just say do dragging, something like this, dragging. So when we are dragging something, I want this to this this image to have a border. So right here, I'm going to put a class. I'm going to say class is equal to uh, dragging. Okay. So now I want to put a border. Now this th this thing I'm adding here is for when I drag an image here, I want to be able to know that I've actually reached my destination and now I can let go. So I need this image to change somehow. So for now, I'm simply going to put a border. So I'm going to say border solid, or maybe not solid. Let's try uh, dashed, like uh, dashed like so. Uh, two pixels of dashed, and then let's put uh, AAA as the color. Mm. Okay, so let's see what happens here. If I click here, go to settings. So you see this. So this is how it's supposed to look like when I drag an image over it so that somebody can know that, okay, now you can let go. Everything is good. Okay, great. Now we only need this to happen when we drag the item over, okay? So here class, I'm simply going to remove this part of the uh, thing here. Instead, what I will do is put an event listener. So I'm going to put an event listener for on drag over, drag over like this. So on drag over, I'm going to put, um, what will I do here? Okay, I'm going to create a function called handle handle drag and drop. This is the longest uh, function I've ever created function name. So handle drag and drop. So I'm going to simply put an event here. Hmm. 
okay i'll put an event there great so handle drag and drop there we go so i'll copy this and i think this is all i need to do here almost maybe let me go to index.php and we are going down to the bottom and let's add a new function 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 handle drag and drop with an event great to simplify coding i'll simply change event to e okay now what i want to do here is once i somebody has uh, dragged something over uh, first of all let me check the event type because we're going to be using one function for all events so what i will do is i'm going to say uh, alert in fact let me not do that let me use console.log console.log so that it goes to the console e.type i just want to see uh, e.type there so let's refresh do that let me just see if things are working fine so i'm going to drag an item here drag boom, to there and i'm seeing in the console here it says drag over so things are working well good so let's go a step further. So I'm going to say if e.type is equal to drag over. Okay. Let me put an if statement here. If, and let me zoom in like so. So if e.type is equal to drag over, so meaning we are dragging over. So I want I want us to change the, the class name for this e. So I'm going to say e.target, right? e.target is the object that we are dragging onto. So e.target.class name is equal to uh, dragging like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. And let's put an else statement in case it's a different event. Let's remove. So e the target the class name. Okay, for now let me just do this. Uh, it's going to empty something like this. Okay, so let's see if we're going to have this effect right here. So drag onto the item. Aha! Uh -huh. And now you see it's got that. Uh... Yeah. But even if we drop here, things are not going to work well. So I won't drop anything here. So the important thing here is to put, um, let me come here and say e dot uh, prevent default like this. I take care of the capital letter here. So e dot prevent default, which means it's going to prevent the default behavior of replacing everything with that file. Okay, so let me go back to settings, and right here where I put this uh, event listener, I want to put another one. So I'll copy this and put a second event listener, which will go to exactly the same place, but this one is going to be on drop. All right, so on drag over and on drop mm -hmm. yeah okay so we um we are good to go so let me come back here uh to index.php i think let me put the else statement here so if drag over good but let's do one more thing copy this duplicate that like this else if it's drop so if someone has dragged something over the item or someone has dropped something over the item we still do e.prevent default like this so let me see if this is actually working so i'll refresh go to settings Okay, syntax error, unexpected token. Um, okay, so I've missed something here. What have I missed? Oh, Lord. 
Okay. Hmm. Okay. It's a good idea to actually click on the thing so it can show me the error. And sometimes I don't know for some reason it doesn't actually show. So syntax error unexpected token. So there's a an opening bracket that isn't being expected here. Sometimes it's very difficult to see. So the fact that this is a different color and this is a different color tells me that it's probably somewhere here. Oh, JavaScript actually doesn't recognize else if. So you have to leave a space between these two. Uh, let's go back here ah, and we're good to go. Okay, so let's come back here and drag a file. Drag and there you see and drop. So now that we drop the image, you see nothing has happened. Nothing has changed, which means we are good to go. So I also need to have one event on drag leave so that when we leave this part, I think at the end of the day, so that when we leave this part, the uh, class name is removed. So uh, let me duplicate this on drag, drag leave. That's if you move your mouse out of there. Okay. Also on drop, we are going to do the same thing. Let me try that, put it on drop. So that once we drop, we remove the, the class uh, name. Also on drag leave, we remove the class name like this. Now I also need to add the event in settings right here repeatedly it's on drop here i also need to add one copy and paste on uh drag leave drag leave like that okay so this is in settings.php yeah we've made uh, a mess out of this image thing okay so let me refresh and let me close this let's try and do this again see what happens let me come back here, drag an image. Ooh. Okay, so when I leave, you see that thing is coming out, which is good. And when I let go, nothing happens. Okay, so this is good. Now, the only thing we need to do is uh, to grab the file. Okay, so let me go here and grab the file. So let's go to index.php back. So when we drop at the drop type here, what we want to do is grab the files. Now, to grab the files, we're going to do e data transfer data capital t transfer dot uh dot files okay so what i want to do is simply console.log this so i can see it console.log because i'm not sure this is actually correct data transfer dot files mm. let me see refresh settings let's drag and drop drag and drop so let's see what has happened in the console should have been open okay there we go so files list and there's a file there awesome so now the thing is e dot transfer dot files is exactly as uh, this part let me come to settings here so that you can see something here is exactly the same as this dot files which is in settings.php so we can easily send the files to this uh this function which is exactly what is happening here when you actually select the file using clicking so i simply need to copy this and activate the function here so index back to index.php and down here I'm going to paste the, aha. Uh -huh. So we are simply replacing these dot files with these dot files. So the this is this and then files there. Great, so let me cut that and paste it here. And we are back to our original. So this should work now. So let's try drag and drop an image and watch it change refresh settings moment of truth 
Let's get a nice photo here. There we go. Simple as that. Mm -hmm. So let's try an, a different image here. Drag. And there we go. Awesomeness. Mm, very nice. Okay, so now um, we can tell the user to drag and drop an image here, I think, somewhere. Uh, change image. Uh, let me put it on top of the... Let me go to settings. Uh, where is this? An image, I can say. Drag and drop an image to change. And let me put a break tag. Let's see if that works well. Settings. Yeah, drag and drop an image to change. So we could put a uh, span. Okay, so this is all cosmetic stuff, completely unnecessary. So at this point, we are done. I'm just adding some few cosmetic stuff. I'm putting a style here. And I want to reduce the font size so that it's not so prominent. Font size 11 pixels. And let's refresh. And there we go. Drag and drop an image to change. Great. So, so far, so good. Everything is working here on the settings. And if you notice, logout is working, settings is working, contacts is working. The only part that isn't working is the chat. So here we are good to go. And now, as you can see, the image also has changed here. And settings and logout. Everything is working fine. So now the next thing we need to do is to create a way to, when we click here on a contact, it takes us to the chat session so we can start a chat with that person. All right, so I'll see you in the next video.